Well, there's one thing I haven't done yet, and that's always mascara. I always save the mascara for last because I don't want powder to float up and stick on your lashes. I want your lashes to look really shiny, and that's what, my, that's what mascara does. So, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna use a little bit of powder, and because Virginia suffers from excess oil in her skin, I'm just gonna give her a little bit of excess powder to compensate. So I'm putting it on a sponge, and you can probably see as I'm doing this how it's starting to mattify her skin. And this is really potent um, in terms of making you look good for about four hours. You're gonna have to touch up. Is that okay, Virginia? Can you handle the touch up? All right. Um, but this will get you through, you know, this will get you to lunch for sure. So you notice that even though she tends to have excess oil, I don't oil, I don't powder the whole face. I love to work in the Magic V. I still want her beautiful skin to have a glow out here. Because if you mattify the whole face, then she looks like, you know, she's, she's halfway dead. You know, we want to mattify where her eyes and lips are so her eyes and lips shine and pop. And we give her that beautiful glow out there. Look up, please. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, because she tends to have oil, your eyeliner is gonna run more. This is a waterproof liner, but still, it's not gonna wanna behave well. So I'm taking the edge of my sponge with a little bit of powder, and look, I'm going right up next to the lashes. Pressed powder into that area. I guarantee it'll keep any waterproof eyeliner from running, even with an oily skin. Okay, last step is mascara. And usually for a day look, um, and depending on someone's lashes, I like mascara on the top lash only. I don't know why, I just do. So look down, please. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first give her a lashes some volume. See, I'm gonna press that brush into her lashes and then I'm gonna pull her outer lashes horizontally outward. And so two things are happening. These, shadow, these lashes are, are gonna stick out past her eye so they're gonna get more attention and they're gonna be thicker because I'm brushing them more. So open, please. So it really pops her eye open. Bing! And that's what we like. Look down, please. Same thing, other side. So first, kind of push that color into the lashes. And why I do that is it's, it's an easier way for me to build volume without having to you know, do all this stroking and I end up getting stuff all over everything. And then I'm gonna pull these outer lashes out sideways. And I'm just gonna give them a few extra strokes. And if it helps, work on the top a little bit, brush down and then come back up. Back to an open, please. Wow, and her eyes really pop. I see one little tiny hair on you right there that just will not do. Okay, you look really, really good. So what you do is just look straight ahead, please. So examine what we've done. Given her features, dark eyes, um, dark hair, medium dark skin tone, we found a way to brighten and give kind of a life to the center of her face and then put colors on her eyes and lips that really match her own natural intensity. So by highlighting and contrasting, I think we've really put her best face forward. And so yay, congratulations to Virginia for her beautiful finished look. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this at MakeupGourmet.com, I've listed my current favorite products to achieve this look. Click on one and try it. If you're not at MakeupGourmet.com, go there now to see my favorite product picks for this look, as well as everything else we have to offer. How to apply, what to buy. MakeupGourmet.com